Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve assessment problem 7.5 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So this is the question and the first thing that we need to do is find the initial current in the inductor. Okay, maybe let's draw the resist the circuit first at t is less than zero. Okay, when t is less than zero, the switch is still open. So we will have this voltage source still intact. So we'll have 250 volt. And then what else? And we will have that 25 kilo ohm. 25 kilo ohm. And then we will have that 200 millihenry. No, because the switch has been there for a long time, the inductor will become short circuit. Okay, so we will have that short circuit and we have this one here. So we will have 30 kilo ohm here and then we will have that one milliampere current source there. Milliampere. Okay, and I think that's all. Let's put our ground in the bottom mouse node here. And we are asked about this one, right? I0. I0. Okay, maybe let's name this node as node A. And let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going down and I just follow this to the, follow the arrow. So it, this goes in into node A. But then this not here is 250 volt from the ground. So this is 250. And we can do KCL at not A. KCL at not A. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is that 1 milliampere there. And that will equal to Va divided by 30 here. And then plus Va minus 250 divided by 25. Okay, and I can multiply both sides here by 750. Okay, so on the left hand side, I will have 750. And this will cancel into 25, so I'll have 25 VA. And this will cancel into 30, so I'll have 30 VA minus, and then that will be uh, 70,500, right? Okay, and then we can add them up here on the left hand side so we'll have a2250 and we'll have 55 va okay and va is what is that a250 divided by 55 that will be 150 okay 154 that is va but we are asked about i0 what is i0 let's do that i0 is uh, VA minus 250 divided by 25. Okay, VA is 150 minus 250 divided by 25. So I will have minus 100 divided by 25. Therefore, I0 is minus 4, right? Minus 4 milliampere. So this is the result for question A, right? And that is the first question that we answered. Okay, now let's find out the B. So the B asks about the final current. So we need the circuit at T is equal infinity. Okay, at T is equal infinity, the switch move here. So this becomes short. So we don't have the left part here because all the current will flow here so we will have this short circuit here and because it already long time the inductor become a short circuit okay 
and this resistor also become open circuit because this is short so there is no current that pass through resistor all the current will pass here and so we only have the current source left so we'll have one milliampere and we need to find out the i infinity here and the i infinity of course it's the same as one milliampere so i infinity is equal to one milliampere okay and that is question a and b okay now let's do question c and d but we need to redraw the circuit at t is greater than zero okay let's clean up the board okay so far we have this initial condition and final condition uh but we don't need to use it right now because we are asked about the time constant so c time constant okay and we need to see the circuit at t is greater than zero so the switch has been in the new position so that will be a short circuit here and we still have the inductor here so that inductor is 200 milli henry and we still have that 30 kilo ohm resistor okay and then we also have a current source which is one milliampere one milliampere okay and this is an rl circuit with a current source so the time constant tau is equal to l divided by r so the l is 200 milli henry so we'll have 200 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 and then the r will be 30 kilo ohm so we'll have 10 to the third power okay 200 divided by 30 that will be 6.67 and multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 and this will be in second uh, and we can rewrite this as microsecond right so we'll have 6.67 microsecond okay and that is the same as this one here and now write the expression for the inductor current it okay so the inductor is going there so maybe let's just do a loop here so that is the loop i and remember that this is the current source so we will have this loop here as one milliampere right this is one okay we can do kvl at loop i so we need to do kvl at loop i and kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero right so now let's do this one Okay, remember the voltage in an inductor is L di dt. And the L itself is 200 milli henry. So I will have 200 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 di dt. Remember L di dt is the voltage of an inductor. Okay, and then plus we will have 300 kilo ohm. So 30 multiplied by 10 to the third power multiplied by i however this is one milliampere flowing to the opposite direction so this is minus one multiplied by 10 to the minus three all of that will equal to zero right okay so now let's break it down so i will have 0 0.2 di over dt and then plus this will be 30,000, right? 30,000 I. And then minus 30. Minus 30. And we move to the right-hand side. So I'll have 30. 
and maybe let's divide this by 0 0.2 or that will be equivalent by multiplying both sides by 5. So we will have di dt plus 150,000i is equal to 150. Okay. And this part and this part is a first order differential equation with an initial condition. We can solve this. Okay. Now let's clean up the board and solve that. Okay, we can solve this by using an integrating factor. So we multiply both sides here by e to the uh, what is this? 150,000t. So di dt and then plus 150,000e to the 150,000t. And that will equal to 100 T e to the 150,000 T. Why is like that? Because if we treat this as, oh, this is I, right? If we treat this as our U, this will be the differential differentiation of that, right? This is U prime. And if we treat this I as P, and this di over dt is our v prime. So remember that u phi, u v prime plus u prime v is just a differentiation of two function multiplied. So we will have d over dt e to the 150,000 t multiplied by i and that will equal to 150 e to the 150,000 t. Okay, we can integrate both sides. Okay, this will be e to the 150,000 t multiplied by i. And we will have this as 10 to the minus 3. And then e to the 150,000 t but plus some constant, right? Some constant. Okay. Uh, and remember, the unit will be in ampere here. So we will need to get this. So I will have I, I, T. Let's move this E to the something to the right hand side. So we will have 10 to the minus 3 plus C1 e to the minus 150,000 t. Okay. And this is in ampere, but we can write it in milliampere. So it is equal to, this will be 1, and plus c1, e to the minus 150,000 t. And this will be in milliampere. Right. But then we have an initial condition of minus 4. Okay, let's do that because I0 is minus 4. So we will have 1 plus C1 e to the 0, minus 0. And that will equal to minus 4. So we'll have 1 plus C1 is equal to minus 4. Therefore, C1 is equal to minus 5. Right? And so we can rewrite the final answer here. So I will have it is equal to 1. C1 is minus 5. So we'll have minus 5 e to the minus uh, 150,000 t. And the unit will be milliampere. And that is exactly what is the answer of question D. Okay, and I think that's all. Uh, quite a long video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.